guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy and I'm so glad to have you. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a general energy reading for the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what's up? How are you? I always enjoy connecting with your energy and I'm really glad you're here. So little sidebar, I've had all my teeth removed, so you might hear some weird speech issues and lisping and things like that, but it's temporary. I'm going to be getting my dentures here really soon, so thanks for hanging out with me during this time. Okay, I got one card here. I feel like I'm going to get three more of these. Have you guys been feeling weird <laughs> this last couple of days? I have been feeling weird. So I want to find out what's going on. I know it has to do with Saturn and retrograde. I think it's retrograde in Aquarius. Ah, uh, help us all. Um, <laughs> we're going to find out what these weird kind of emotions are. Uh, many of us are revisiting um, old blocks, things maybe you thought you healed. Also, when Saturn goes retrograde, it's about karma. And uh, many people are going to get some good karma. And some people are going to get some uh, karma. And karma isn't a punitive punishment by the universe. It is just how we balance out energies. It's how we change our patterns, that kind of thing. Don't take it as a punishment. Take it as a course correction. Okay, let's look into these cards. Okay, we have Osiris, God King, Adwat, Commitment, Acquisition, and Responsibility. Okay. Some of you guys may be feeling the burdens of responsibility. And, you know, we all feel that sometimes, right? And um, sometimes we can feel a little backed into a corner by um, the responsibility we feel. Um, but many times our responsibilities are connected to our loved ones. We want to take care of them emotionally, physically, financially, whatever it is. And responsibility in itself isn't a bad thing. But you also have to be able to lighten your energy up to deal with heavy responsibility. So let's keep going here. We have Martyr, Matron of the Blind, Honesty, Shame, Restitution. Okay. All right. And we have Set, Prince of Adverse. Adverse. I can't say it. Okay. <laughs> Short-sightedness, Ambition, Narcissism. Okay. All right. So I feel like there, for some people, now... This may be people in your life, not you directly, but I feel like for some people who have had some people, for those who have had people kind of mess them over, uh, karma is going to come into play um, big time. And uh, your energy is going to feel more balanced. And it's not because the universe wants to mess them over, but they need to be made aware of um, the boundaries they crossed and the damage they have done okay um and some people I, I feel like you've been dealing with narcissism within the collective narcissistic people our own narcissistic tendencies and they're rising to the surface um and martyr here and responsibility is like boom <laughs> you know like um there is a very fine line between giving from the heart and giving with motive okay giving with motive to be um recognize now we all want to be recognized right for the things we do but it seems like people who are martyrs do it from a source of wanting other people to feel bad for them not because you don't do it because you want to feel good some of you guys have experienced this you have a martyr narcissist in your energy right now and um some of you guys have cut them off some of them are still lingering around it could be a parent could be a boss a co-worker a friend and uh you know you may notice that you feel bad when you're around them um you feel like shame or guilt you feel like you have to make it better I want to tell you that is not your it is not your responsibility to make people better. Okay, it is your responsibility to make sure you're okay. All right, uh, because you know we have to start with ourselves before we can help anyone else. And I had a martyr co complex, you know, where you know I was burning myself out, overworking. Um, this led to my collapse, actually. And I didn't give from a place of, of goodness, of wanting to give to help people. I gave from a place of I was responsible 
I was burdened. I had to make things work. I was a person who made things work, who made them click. And that's a pressure cooker to live under, that kind of pressure. Uh, it's better when we can get to a place where we love ourselves enough to take care of ourselves and do the things that we want to do that make us feel good. When you give from that place, things change, things realign. Okay. All right. This is the tower. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. I asked the question, what is this weird energy? We have the seven of pentacles. All right. Uh, we have the five of swords. Some of you guys have somebody really nasty around you that the universe is trying to warn you about. We have the two of arrows or two of wands here. We have, this is the, I believe this is the knight of, of uh, swords. That's an aggressive knight. And uh, we have the wheel, the wheel of fortune. Okay, so let's talk about this tower. Okay, we, I need to talk about the tower. <laughs> I need to find out about this tower. Tell me more about the tower. What is going on with this tower? We need to know because what I'm getting here is, okay, the first thing I get from this card is loud. It's going to be a loud bang. It's going to make a... Um, it's going to make a loud enough bang to kind of shake up your frequency. And this is being done so you can raise your frequency. Okay. And I know you're like, Amy, some of you guys have gone through this tower and you're still feeling the effects of it. Others, this tower is coming and this is how you're going to feel about it. You're just going to be like, ah, I don't want to deal with it. I don't. And for some of you guys, this is internal. Okay. But for others, this is actually a tower that's fixed in the fall. And it, it's a foundational thing. That's what a tower is. And um, But here's the thing about this tower. As you can see, like the explosion is coming out of a window. And, and the top hasn't been completely exploded. It's almost like a tower gets hit. A foundation gets hit. I don't see it crumbling. I see it being shaken. And it's like you have a ruined tower. Okay, and you may not know what to do with it. And that might be, might explain some of this weird energy, like, and I feel like for a lot of people, this is internal. Like, there is a thought pattern or a pattern of behavior that you haven't realized that you've been doing. And the Saturn in retrograde is bringing up energy of like, hey, you know, Saturn is a taskmaster and Saturn does not have a gentle a gentle touch. So Saturn might be like, hey, hey, y'all, y'all need to get, get it together because this, this fighting energy, this, um, I want to, I mean, she's holding a knife here, looking, looking at a, at a woman with a, another, another helper there. Like I have it in for you. That's what I'm feeling. There's somebody, um, and you know, this won't resonate for everybody. I'm reading for the collective. So there's a couple different stories going on here. But some of you have someone out for you. Okay. And you probably know who this is because either you've had a tower with them and the tower hasn't completely fallen. It's almost like you're in stasis with the tower. Like it's in, it's in that, uh, it's frozen. Like it's been hit and it's frozen and you don't know what to do about it. And maybe you're feeling stagnation as you're trying to move forward. And this energy really isn't letting you move forward. And um, it may have to do with commitment here. It could be a friend. It could be a partner or an ex or somebody that you're breaking up with or you want to break up with. Um, and what's important here is that you need to reflect. You need to reflect on what this energy is in your life, be it your own internal pattern. Sometimes we are our worst enemy. And I know for me personally, this may be coming up for you. There are issues of self-sabotage going on. There are issues of like old patterns coming up. And now we're more aware, right? We're more awake. So we're becoming aware of our patterns. And many of us don't know what to do about it. We don't know how to fix it. We don't know how to heal it. Part of us wants to run away from it. Part of us wants to deal with it. And the truth is, when you feel that confusing energy, the best thing you can do is kind of stay and consult. I'm, I'm reading this uh, Ouija board here as like consulting your higher self, consulting your inner wisdom. Um, you're aware of the patterns and you can 
where you can reflect on how the patterns did or didn't serve you in the past and how you may be repeating them. There's wisdom with the moon here. Uh, this is hidden wisdom within your, your consciousness. So, you know, you need to take some time, slow down, you know, don't overgive yourself at this time. Don't work yourself really hard. A lot of people work, work harder when they're upset or they're in some kind of weird stagnation. They think, well, if I work harder, then I'll get, mo I'll get movement. And the truth is that's not how it works. Okay. Um, what happens is this aggressive knight comes out and the, uh, the knight of swords is aggressive. Okay. Um, and we have the blackbird here. This could be a raven, uh, a crow, whatever. That could be a sign. And what we have to do instead of being aggressive and trying to fix, like, it's the equivalent of what I'm seeing here. It's the equivalent of, of getting a ladder and trying to climb up the side of this tower and put out the fire. One person. And, you know, you, you may have to let the fire burn out. Okay, you may have to let the explosion kind of set. Instead of going to it in an aggressive manner, you know, you want to reflect. You want to reflect. That will help you turn the wheel, you know. And if you react, then the short-sightedness is going to come into play because you're you're repeating an, a behavior of reacting, reacting to um, situations that are confusing. Instead of reacting to the situation that's confusing, you take time and reflect, okay, okay. Um, with the seven of pentacles, what I'm feeling here is it's time for you to realize the seeds you have sown within yourself. Okay. The hard work and determination that you have put in. You need to reflect on that. You don't need to allow this explosion to get you off course. That's why you don't want to react. You don't just want to be like, oh, well, if then so, you know what I mean? You want to be like, you know what? I, I'm going to pause and I'm going to pause as long as I need to, to reflect on the situation. And, um, that's going to help you turn the wheel. You may have a Taurus or earth sign. This is, um, in conjunction with, and could have an air sign. So we have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, we have Libra, um, Aquarius and Gemini. So, uh, and I, I'm feeling a lot of confusion here. So how do we get some clarity? How do we get some clarity? Let's go to the animal spirit um, cards. How do we get clarity on this confusing situation? Some of you guys have someone in your energy that you're repeating a pattern with, or they're trying to repeat a pattern with you. And uh, you need to be aware of it. And um, don't react to it. Don't react to what's going on. Become aware of your own behavior. And reflect. Take a moment and reflect. And then be fearless and bold. Okay? In order for the universe to bring you your manifestations, you have to get to this place where you act by faith. You reflect and you act as you are guided. And sometimes that's really scary because often when we're in this kind of situation, we're going to have to let someone go or we're going to have to let the way we think go or there's some kind of healing or change that needs to happen within. And a lot of times that's very deep, right? And it can be very painful, you know, Recognizing our, recognizing our own toxicity is absolutely part of the awakening paradigm. Um, and as humans, we've been told to react. You know, when something happens, react. It's like in, it's like something that's been programmed into us. So we get people popping off who are mad and angry, and they're at other people, but actually they're angry with themselves because they may have returned to some kind of internal pattern that never fed them that just made them spin into anger and emotion emotion is the language of your soul and it's important to honor your emotions and reflect on them before you act um, and i feel like this time with saturn in retrograde you know it's really important that we are not reactive that we are reflective and we act from places of wisdom once you get to that place be bold and be fearless okay that doesn't mean you don't have fear it means that in, in the face of fear in the face of possibly a tower that falls you move forward in ways that feed your soul um, that honor your emotions and honor how you really feel not the confusion you feel but how you really feel where you really are um, Often when we have these kind of internal towers or external towers, we're in shock. Shock leads to confusion. And look at look at her face here. It's just like, 
oh, I don't know. I'm tired. I don't know. I, I, and you may be feeling that, you know, and when you feel tired, when you feel like all you need to do is sleep or rest, sleep and rest as much as you can. Your body's recovering. Your mind is recovering. Often we forget that sleep is not just for our bodies. It's for our mind. Our brains need rest. Our body needs that that resources and we make all kinds of chemicals and stuff when we sleep that helps us get clarity you know when your brain when your mind is overworked and full of anxiety it's very difficult uh, to make clear decisions and instead of react you know we reflect and um, I know it's hard to sleep a lot of people are having a really hard time sleeping you may find your sleeping habits need to change and that's okay right but what I'm getting, the guidance I'm getting for you guys, uh, me included, is that, you know, before you go to sleep, do that thing that quiets and comforts your soul. Okay, if it's meditation, meditate for five or ten minutes. If it's, you know, doing some, some people like to work out before they sleep, do that. You know, read a book. Um, I, I think probably TV and the computer and the phone and stuff probably needs to be, you know, put to the side because it activates our brain in different ways. And for some people, it's soothing. For other people, it's not. So do what you do. Music is great. Frequency music. ASMR is great. You know, those kind of things that help you quiet your internal dialogue. Um, because that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a lot of internal dialogue about situations that, you know, they feel like this. And like I said, it could be actually going on in your life there's something you need to be aware of which i think i'm going to do a reading about who you need to be aware of in your life um or it could be a pattern that you're repeating and i feel the pattern for a lot of people if you have ascended a couple of times um or you're going through an awakening you may be becoming aware of these toxic patterns that you're repeating right um and i'm urging you to not react if something like a tower happens today, the next week, the next three weeks, or it's just happened, always reflect, okay? Um, because as much as we would like, it's very hard to take back words once they're said. There are some words that once they're said, there's some actions that once they're done, you know, they burn bridges. That's how it works, you know, with people. So just be careful about your action when you get upset or you get rattled, okay? sweet results await okay so there's good things coming all this uh this shaky energy you may feel like oh man <laughs> i don't know i don't know if things are going to be so good it feels like the world's on fire my life feels like it's falling apart i feel like i'm back to my toxic behavior i haven't made any progress that's not true because now you're aware you're aware of the people around you you're aware of this inner 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 stuff going on and now instead of reacting you can reflect i'm just really urging people to not just react um because right now with pluto in retrograde and we have saturn in retrograde we've always already had so much stuff happen in the world that was traumatic and sad uh, we need to uh, take responsibility for our own internal mechanism and how we feel and instead of lashing out at ourselves or others, we reflect and we hold space for confusion. It's okay to be confused. You don't have to know everything all the time. It's important you honor your emotions right now, okay? And you may be like, but I'm sad. I don't wanna be sad anymore. Well, the best way to work through sadness is to honor the sadness, cry. Honor the confusion, say, I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know the answers. I just know I'm feeling this way. That's okay. It's okay to be there. All right. And that's why sleep is so important because sleep will help you deal with the internal stuff that's going on. It'll give you a peace and a calm. Some of you who meditate, you need to meditate a little bit more right now. It'll give you peace. It'll give you clarity. And when this clarity comes through, it will be like, boom, so clear, so clear. Okay. I'm filling the bottom card and we have magic works through you. Okay. Scarab. So there is a lot of magical things. Oh, 52 is a seven. This is a seven. So seven, seven is going to be numbers for you. Um, so be patient, be kind to yourself, rest, um, do some things that help you relieve your stress uh, and don't allow this internal tower or this external tower make you feel guilty or, or ashamed. Find out what's underneath those two emotions if you're feeling them because there's more there. All right. 
Okay guys, that's what I got for today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day and I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time. Bye guys.